Well, Mary Kay, I know it doesn't come as a surprise to you. It does come as a little bit of a surprise to me. But Deshaun Kaiser named the starting quarterback, but only for now for the third preseason game. Uh, I know really all preseason long you've been, and really all training camp long, you've been saying that you think this is going to end up being Deshaun Kaiser's job. And uh, this announcement is a step towards that. Well, you know what? You could just see it building. I mean, each week uh, he got a little bit of a promotion, and it just seemed like it was going that way. Not only that, he took first team reps all the way back since OTAs, and Brock Osweiler did not do that. So, you know, right there, I think that was a tip off that uh, they weren't grooming him to start the season, whereas they were trying to get Deshaun Kaiser ready. And as Hugh Jackson said, he's knocked down every single thing that he put in front of him. And then I think the key takeaway from today is, you know, I asked him, does he have to completely flame out in Tampa to lose the starting job? And Hugh said yes. Yeah, it sounds like Hugh is ready to live with some growing pains. And you're going to have to be if you do choose this starting quarterback uh, for the whole season. But that being said, you look back at what Hugh Jackson said during the combine when he raved about arm talent and how he loved arm talent. You look at what Deshaun Kaiser brings today. He said that Deshaun Kaiser gives them potential to do so many different things with the offense. I'm paraphrasing a little there, but uh, you could just kind of see why he's so enamored with Kaiser and why he decided to make this choice. Well, you know what? Again, you look at it, and also you talk to quarterbacks coach David Lee. Not only do they talk about the long ball, which we've all seen, but he's got touch on the shorter passes. He can throw the outs, the curls, the comebacks, the slants, all those sorts of things. He's got that touch. He's got mobility. So even though, you know, we saw him struggle at times, and that's going to happy, happen with a rookie, uh, even though we saw that, uh, we saw enough there, enough flashes of talent uh, to give him a chance. Now, the other interesting thing, Brock Osweiler will not play on Saturday. Uh, Hugh Jackson saying he wants to get a look at the younger guys. So that, of course, is Kaiser, Cody Kessler, and Kevin Hogan. So no Brock Osweiler. A little surprised by that? Well, no, because what do you have to gain from starting Brock Osweiler in the fourth quarter of the third preseason game? Basically nothing. What happens in these games are uh, teams really use that fourth quarter to try to see, uh, you know, who they want again before the final cuts happen. So uh, it's really just a bunch of backups out there finishing off the game in the fourth quarter. Most of the starters play through the third quarter. All right, we'll have full coverage of the quarterback decision. Of course, you and I will be in Tampa on Saturday. We'll have full coverage of Deshaun Kaiser's first start at cleveland.com slash browns.